I have known Melissa uh, probably the majority of my life for at least 20 years. And uh, she, of course, is going to do a remarkable job on the city council. And I'm uh, glad to be able to call her a friend. And I'm uh, delighted to be able to have her share some words and for you all to learn and get to know a little bit about her. But before she comes and takes the mic, I will tell you that uh, she is currently the president and CEO of the Black Healthcare Coalition and also the president of our Kansas City Public School System Board of Directors. And if you, if you haven't know, uh, heard, uh, recently, of course, the Kansas City Public School System has reached the uh, um, uh, number of that they need for accreditation, I think it's 82.6, 82.9. Eight, 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 hey, everybody get up, Melissa Rochester, she's gonna tell you more about this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jermaine. Jermaine and I go way back. Um, <laughs> well, I think it was nine years old, a uh, year younger than my son uh, when we met, so we're uh, like brother and sister. But first, I would like to thank uh, Gail Kriegel and Bruce Kriegel for this lovely gathering. Can we give them a round of applause for being such gracious hosts? When I was a kid growing up at the Ad Hoc Group Against Crime, I always wanted to be like Gail. But in my recent wisdom, there can only be bubble. Yeah. <laughs> so I stopped that. Uh, but also want to recognize uh, Mr. Alvin Brooks, who both Jermaine and I um, are prodigies of Mr. Brooks. Um, and what he's done. I remember meeting him again at a very tender age of maybe 14 years old and I came up to him and shook his hand and he said, what's your name? I looked to my feet and he said, look me in the eye. And I mumbled my first name, well, Melissa. And he held on to my hand until I was able to give him my full name. And from there, uh, I made it a point to make sure that I was able to just be around the hem of his garment and work for the Ad Hoc Group Against Crime for 14 years, working on issues related to crime and violence. We started the Runaway Program together. So when we think about this campaign, this is campaign 3.0, but there is a 1.0. When I was a kid working with the Ad Hoc Group Against Crime and helping families through terrible tragedies as it relates to um, crime and violence. So I know specifically what it means in this community and what we need to do to ensure that we address crime and violence in this community. We do have a five point plan. I won't go through all of that now, but let's talk about, so you know a little bit about my history and my story, 2.0. I worked for the Black Healthcare Coalition for 11 years. I worked to push uh, the Affordable Care Act, worked to expand Medicaid, which we still have a lot of work to do. And every year we work with 200 families, expecting families, mothers and fathers, for seven years so that we can ensure that those young people have the foundation that they need so we can change a generation as it relates to the health disparities and the health inequities that are related in our community. So moving on to 3.0 uh, with my work on the school board. And this is a lunch and learn and I learned a couple things being on the board for five years and now serving as the board chair. One of them is restraint. The other one is how to get out of the way. And then the third piece is how to build powerful coalition. And so when you think about restraint, one of the things many of you all know, you remember Eric Leonard West, now known as A.J. Craybill. Um, but they started this thing called policy governance. And when you are from the east side of this part of town in Kansas City where I grew up from, when you get an opportunity to start, serve and you step into a role of authority, you want to do something. You don't want to sit around and have all of these things and obstacles in your way. And so we came in saying we wanted accreditation immediately. We wanted to uh, make sure that our workers that cleaned our schools um, had the right to organize. We had a lot of things on our list, but we learned the power of restraint. Um, and that's how we got to the accreditation of 82.9. Because when a foundation is laid, you have to learn how to walk in the light. And so when we think about what Jermaine has been able to do when we move forward, we're going to walk in that light and move Kansas City forward. Right. Um, the other piece um, is getting out of the way. 
we hired a rock star superintendent and we got out of his way. We allow him being the expert not to micromanage, but give him the space to do his job. And he's been doing a great job with effective monitoring, of course. And then the other thing is building powerful coalition. I knew, again, that I had to bring home the bacon from our community. I couldn't let this wonky thing called policy governance get in my way. I had to make sure that W.E.B. Du Bois Learning Center had a, a one of our school buildings. And for no cost, one of our school buildings that were closed down. I knew that we had to tear down Greenwood School. It's been vacant for 20 years. A lot of blight in the community. I knew that we had to do so many things. I'm so grateful that I had the young elected officials, YEO, behind me though. And you'll hear from Andrew Gillum later, and Jermaine's gonna introduce them. But YEO, powerful organization. And I had a group of elected officials behind me nationwide where they could be an echo chamber so that we can get things done. Like the clean energy policy that we were able to pass for the Kansas City School Board. When we think about now that 100% of our kids have access to free KCATA bus passes, so not only that they can go to school, but they can go to jobs, they can go to the doctor, their parents can use the pass. When we think about that, that, that came from the clean energy policy in the institute that Andrew Gillum started, that we were able to walk in and execute that here in Kansas City. We were the first municipality or organization as it relates to the school board that passed the, uh, the anti-Islamophobia um, ordinance with the school board. That, that was something that came right out of YEO. So we have been able to do a great work for five years, but we're going to continue down this path on to City Hall. We're going to take our agenda there. We're going to work on crime and violence. We're going to work on basic city services. Yes, some shiny things are good, but we need to make sure that people know that their trash can be picked up. Say something, Chuck Bird. Can I get an amen in the, in the corner? <laughs> um, we need to make sure that we have enough officers on the street. We need to make sure that our fire and safety and we need um, effective governance as it relates to TIF and the geo bonds and all of those things. I am the candidate that will continue to work with the school board because again, we know that it's so important that our kids have a strong foundation, that they not only walk away with a high school diploma in hand, but also a, a certificate so that they can go to work, they can go to school, they can do whatever they, they, they want to do. So thank you so much for being here. I'm getting the sign from Mr. Brooks. So, <laughs> um, and I'm sorry. Oh, yes. There's something that, and, and again, it's not, he, he's, he's like, okay, don't forget to tell all the good stuff that you've done. But Jermaine allowed me to serve on the PIAC, the public, um, the public, I'm sorry, Improvement Advisory Committee, where a project, Brush Creek, had been on the books for 15 years. And with that project, we were able to get 20, over $20 million from the Corps Engineers to get that project off the ground. That was unprecedented. And the important thing is that I went to Congress to advocate for the money. In 15 years, no one got on a plane to Washington just to go ask Congress to give us the money. We deserve it. This is a this is an area in our community that has been, been um, left out. So again, there's a lot of things that we've done and I would love to meet with you all individually to talk about what our agenda and our next steps are. Thank you so much, Jermaine. Yeah.